about being cozy and comfy at the crib. It's, it's cozy time. Yo, what's up, GQ? I'm Gerald, and I'm back for round two to show you my at-home essentials. First essential, you know, it's kind of a piece of my uniform, but a piece of myself is my A's hat that I pretty much wear every day. Especially when I'm away from home, from the bay, it's kind of just like a, a thing that, you know, ties me to home and reminds me of where I'm from. I've probably owned over 100 A's hats. This A's hat um, is probably, probably a few months in. Still got some life left. I had one that I was like wearing forever. I let it get real, real, real dingy and dirty and then I got a, a ton of crisp options and you know, making that decision on which one to wear each day is it's not as easy as it looks. The biggest essential for me is my studio. I'm very, very, very blessed and fortunate to have an at-home studio. This is the upstairs of my studio. So it has like my plaques, my Kobe jersey, some arcade games. You know, it's a vibe up here, but then downstairs in the real studio, that's where I go to completely work and like lock in and focus. Like this room is like get the ear break, get your mind off it for a second and come back fresh. And then I go downstairs and it's like, there's nothing but work down there. My whole studio is lit up with hue lights. So I'll switch the colors of them. Depending on the song I'm working on, depending on the vibe I'm in, I don't know what I would be doing with all the time if I didn't have my studio, I'd go crazy. It's obviously an outlet, a place to express myself and, and to pour myself into something. I'm usually in the studio with, you know, producers, A&R guy. This was just me alone in my studio. So all of a sudden it was like, damn, like I'm gonna just make whatever I want to. Use this time to freely explore creatively and break the rules, cause why not? A big at-home essential is just nice scented candles. This is the, the big Le Labo Santal. It just fills up the room with a real nice scent. I didn't know, but like a nice scented candle, you're only supposed to burn for what, like 20 minutes? And then that fills the room with the scent for, you know, an hour or two or whatever. But, you know, I like the vibe of having like a ton of candles lit, you know, so it all depends. So a big at-home essential, you know, and a, a way I've spent a lot of time during quarantine has been reading. You know, sometimes it's hard with how busy life gets. It gets hard to like just sit down and, and, and focus. But for me, reading over quarantine has been a practice of, you know, remembering to focus, to slow down and to chill. I read a uh, post office, Charles Bukowski. I'm reading A Farewell to Arms right now, Ernest Hemingway, Chuck Palahniuk, Choke. And then probably the favorite thing I read over quarantine was Acid for the Children. It's a memoir by Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Like I love the Red Hot Chili Peppers as a fan, but like I didn't, I got to know a whole lot more about Flea and his, you know, upbringing, his youth, his, you know, his whole backstory. I, I love Fitzgerald. I love like, like classic, like timeless, like authors that are, you know, that iconic. And I feel like going back, they really transport you to a different time and place. Reading has been a big thing over quarantine and like a great way to just like, pass the time and chill at home. Music is, you know, as essential as anything is in my life. And listening to music in the right way. So I have Marshall speakers all around the house. They're aesthetically pleasing. They look like old amps and the sound quality is great. I listen to music every single day. It's one of the first things when I wake up, come downstairs, make my coffee, put some music on immediately. I've been building a record collection for a long time, but there's a, there's a part about putting a record on. It's like, yeah, at the click of a button on your phone, you can have any song ever made anywhere but there's like a there's a respect you put on the process take that record out you put the record on it's an experience it's not just background music you know it's an act of like really appreciating the music itself but yeah i mean there's a few records uh radiohead the bends mac dre genie of the lamp nirvana unplugged which is one of the greatest i uh, love supreme john coltrane i've listened to a lot of jazz lately and then one of my favorite albums of all time midnight marauders Tribe Called Quest. Nina Simone, we've been listening to a lot of Nina. A pretty eclectic range, but you know, just some of the stuff I'm into. Music is something that just makes a home feel like a home. I truly believe that. It's atmosphere. So obviously a big essential, you know, we've all been in the house. You know, getting dressed is not what it used to be. So sweatsuits are, you know, that's a go-to. This one's on front, uh, on front Street Supreme. Anytime I find something I really like, I usually just buy backups. You know, when you find something that you really like, it's like, all right, yeah, let me level up. So I enjoy wine. It's white, I like like a Sauvignon Blanc, something dry and crisp and citrusy. Some friends of mine are like really into wine who are staying with me at the house. So just like trying all different kinds. So it's just like a dope, like part of the night. Like you cook a dinner and you have a nice wine with it. How often do we open a new bottle of wine? Well, it depends on the night. <laughs> Coffee is an essential. 
I love coffee. I can't look at my phone. I can't talk to anybody. I can't think before I've had a cup of coffee. That's just like, this don't bother me until I've had my coffee. Sometimes I'll just do espresso. Sometimes drip, pour over coffee. Sometimes a French press. I like Pete's coffee. I mean, Pete's is from the Bay. I just think coffee's delicious. And it's the whole, again, it's the process of like, you know, making a French press or, you know, the smell of espresso. I usually just drink it black, maybe some cream. A dash, not a splash. How many cups of coffee do I have a day? That number I'd not like to say, but probably like four to five cups a day. Way more than I should be having. In the backyard, I have like a treadmill, some weights. Uh, <laughs> we joke and we call it Jerry's Gymnasium. For me, running is, is very meditative. And obviously, you know, you have to stay active and find ways to exercise. My treadmill is like, that's where I go to, to, to meditate and just like find that calm. Yeah, I like running to film scores. I love the Dark Knight score. I love um, Requiem for a Dream. That score is one of my favorites. Getting 30 minutes, like three miles to eight minutes in like per day. It just feels good after you after you get that done. You gotta find ways to stay healthy. Yeah. During quarantine, I think a lot of us have had the opportunity to inwardly reflect and decide like what we want to change or learn or evolve into. I've always wanted to learn how to play piano and learn how to sing. And I've spent a lot of time working with a teacher and a coach. I mean, I started just by like by ear. Like I would put a record on and like just start to play to it, figure out what key it's in, and find the scale. And but like spending the time to really like work on that and learn how to play piano. A piano is like a even as a piece of furniture, it's just central to like at home. You know what I mean? It makes my home feel like a home. Pre quarantine. We were doing jazz night at Jerry's, you know, like a little get together. Like we'd all like cook, have dinner, and then just play and listen to jazz and like, you know, drink some wine and, you know, smoke and shit. So it's just kind of like a, a thing that ties everybody together in a way. It's an upright, it's an old one. I didn't want to give something like brand new and fancy and clean. I think there's like a rustic quality to like an old piano. And it just reminds me of my grandma's house. I'll sit at the piano every single day. Sometimes I'll sit down for five minutes. Sometimes I'm there for two hours, like in a trance. Music is something I tend to get lost in. You know, it can be that way in the studio. I'll blink and you know, eight hours have passed. Thanks again, GQ. I appreciate the opportunity. Much love to you guys. Those are my essentials.